is happening, Magnus X. The Black Viking is back. But this time, I am the god that wields the dark millionaire. And I am here to answer your questions. I will descend mm. upon my throne of thought. And as I deliberate, and I listen to the march of the Magnusites at almost 60,000 strong, marching closer and closer to one million subscribers, <laughs> you will know that my wisdom is supreme. <laughs> All right, so, got another question from Magnus Answers. This one says, hey man, I was up early watching a few of your videos about dating women with kids and the love triangle one, but I have a question that I think you'll give me good advice on. I like your philosophy and you could be a huge help. So check this out. Back in high school, I dated this girl for about three years when we graduated in 2013. We had a little girl together. We lived together also for about six months, but shit just didn't work. So we split. Well, I started working at a lumber mill and I met this amazing girl that had all the qualities I've ever looked for. She's funny, she's independent, and she knows what she wants in life. <laughs> That's a good thing, man. But the thing is, she has a five-year-old boy. And on top of that, my baby mama wants to get back together. So I don't know what to do. Do I stay with my daughter's mom so my little girl could have a family? Or do I go with the pre-made family? I do love the single mom, but the fact that she has baggage scares me. And I don't want to seem like I'm abandoning my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I love a response back. I like your videos, man. All right, so you got a few issues here. Um, all right, so first of all, to answer The question about your daughter not growing up with a family. Sometimes our relationships just do not work. Um, sometimes it just, it, it's best that mother and father not be together because they would actually scar the child having a broken relationship like they do. The anger, the fighting, the coldness. It wouldn't be a great family to grow up in in the first place, okay? Now, you can be an outstanding father even though you don't, do not live with your daughter, okay? There are guys that do not live with their children that are better fathers than guys that do live with their children, okay? And what I'm getting at is unless you're truly thinking about getting back with your baby's mom because you two get, actually get along, don't, look, yeah, if you get along with baby's mom, you might want to consider that. If you don't, and your only reason is show that your daughter has a family, ex nay that because it's going to be more painful for the child to grow up in a cold home like that. You can be a better father when you're happy. You see, because should you sacrifice your happiness... to raise, to be in the house with your daughter. You get what I'm saying? Because if you're gonna be miserable, why? You, you, when you're miserable, you won't have the energy. You won't have the dedication to be the best father you could possibly be. But if you're with a woman that has everything you've ever wanted, she makes you happy, you're able to create more positive energy out of that. You're able to be your best. When you're with someone who's everything you ever wanted, you become everything you want it to be. Now, I know that the baggage scares you. Now, I'm not sure why it scares you because you didn't tell me. Are you worried that because she has a boy that she's gonna get back with her baby daddy? Is that what you're worried about? Like, what are you concerned about? I mean, I, I don't know what it is. If you know that you have the ability to be a good father, then you, 
you you well you already know when you get with a girl that has a child that you may eventually have to be their father figure. If you can be a great father to your daughter, then you can be a great father to your um, son. I mean, to your adopted son at some point. And trust me, I'm putting myself in your place. I would be so fucking torn, okay? Because, um, you know, <laughs> daughters are the apple of your eye. They're, the, you're the, they're your fucking heart, man. I don't even have a daughter, but I, 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 I can... I can really put myself in your place and know what it feels like to have a daughter. At least, you know, try to imagine. And I, trust me, right now, I'm torn. I mean, the advice I'm giving you is from the outside looking in, but I'm trying to give you advice on what I would do. If I was going to be miserable just so that I was with my daughter 24-7, I don't think I would do it. I think it would be best for me to be with someone who is absolutely makes me happy than be with someone who doesn't make me happy and try to raise my daughter. Because I know guys that see their kids almost every day that don't live with them, okay? So, like, I know it can be difficult. You might have to put in a little bit more effort to see your daughter when you can. You may have to put in more effort to go to after school, extracurricular activities, all that extra stuff. You might have to do that. But that's the price of a relationship not working. So if it only only get back with your baby's mom if it can work. Because you don't want to be tormented. And then through that, your, your little daughter is seeing a broken relationship. She's seeing anger from mom on dad, dad on mom. Um, you know, who knows, things could get abusive, mom could try to hurt you, you could try to hurt her. I'm not saying that y'all like that, you know. But, I mean, I think it would suck. Like, for example, I grew up without my dad, but I had a pretty good childhood, even though he wasn't there. Now, when he was more active, things were better, because he would come to see me and my brother. He would come take us out, he would buy us stuff, and things were different then. It was a nice to have my dad around, and I would have probably came out differently if <laughs> I might have been worse because he was a bad influence. But if you're a good influence on that girl, you're going to be just fine, especially if you kind of live kind of close, you know. So I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Go with what makes you feel best in your gut. Usually, that's the best decision, okay? That's the best decision. Find out what that baggage is, okay, that bothers you about this girl, okay? Because I don't know what it is. If you think she's going to go, if you're going to dedicate yourself to her and she's going to go running back to her baby's dad, if you don't have her full commitment, if you don't think you can get her full commitment, then don't commit. But I, my whole thing is I want you to be happy. You know, a lot of times we sacrifice so much to make others happy, but in the end, your daughter could grow up and say, Dad, I mean, why... I understand you love me so much, but why did you go through all those years of misery with mom? I will, it would have been okay if you didn't live there. You know, I could come to see you, you come pick me up, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, every fine family dynamic is different. But if I were you, and if you were my friend, I'm telling you, I will go with what is going to make you the happiest, okay? What can you deal with the most, all right? And you might want to try out the relationship with the girl that you like so much for a little bit to ease your fears. Talk to her about the baggage that bothers you. Find out and get some reassurance. If you don't have any reassurance, then do the other, as long as it will make you happy. Not as if you're carrying a, you're bearing a fucking cross just so that your daughter um, is going to grow up with a family. Because sometimes... Um, what you think is best for the child isn't what's best. You know what I mean? Sometimes you think you know what's best, and it's not best. It could be best to have a loving father that lives right down the street than a loving father that is just fucking depressed, that's living with and being tormented by his, uh, by his wife, by his baby's mom. You get what I'm saying? You understand that? All right, y'all. So I think I've rambled on enough, but I want to just cement it into your fucking head. You know what I mean? One of the... <laughs> Hammer that shit in your fucking head, motherfucker. Alright? Mm -hmm. One million subscribers. Woo!